Lana. Don't worry, Commander. You're safe. I found this super weapon. It was a giant droid. I know. You've been talking in your sleep. Your dreams are almost as bad as mine. Whatever that droid is, you knocked it out of commission with the Eternal Fleet. Now it's recharging and gearing up for a counterattack. Which is why we must strike soon. Hesitate too long and the Titan may destroy us all. Someone betrayed me. They lured me into that death trap and sabotaged the throne. Just like they tricked all of us into fighting a war on Iocan. The conspiracy cuts deeper than we imagined. Sounds like an inside job, all right. Only a handful of people could get close enough to sabotage the throne. Who could have done such a thing? as an expert strategist. If she took me down, the galaxy would be as good as hers. I always thought she had a case of throne envy. Why stop with Asina? If we're tallying suspects, we have to consider Aiko, Vizsla, Satil, and the entire Alliance army. Not to mention Lana. And hell, even me. Whoever it is, I want them rooted out quickly. There's only one solution. You must monitor everyone. Hold on, Minister of Paranoia. You can't invade everyone's privacy to sniff out a single rat. I can't, but the Commander can. Give the order and I'll begin surveillance of everyone, even Theron and myself. It's the only way to flush out the traitor. I won't let one traitor turn me against my followers. They've earned my trust. I'm glad someone hasn't lost their mind. Trust is a risk. Now more than ever. Excellent. You're awake and looking stronger than ever, I see. Are you ready to return to the battlefield? We struck down Malcolm and stopped the apocalypse. I'd say we've earned a moment to celebrate. Before we celebrate, I have to offer my condolences to Agent Shan. Your father was a bore, but I respected his prowess on the battlefield. I'm sorry for your loss. What are you doing here, Empress? I've come to wish the Commander good health and to discuss our continued war efforts. You've dealt a crushing blow to the Republic, but they stubbornly refuse to surrender. Our fight for Ayakat wages on. our next strategy over a bottle of Zakulan wine. I don't think that would be appropriate, Commander. Not yet. We must rain destruction on the Republic, day and night, until we soak Ayakat with their blood. Only then will we emerge triumphant. Excuse me, my lord. We'll give you two a moment alone. Good luck on the battlefield, Commander. Victory will be ours. It's been a long time, Queen. Too long. After you disappeared, I spent months on the hunt. Minister Lawman even heard about my crusade and ordered me to call off the search. He wanted the Emperor's wrath to stay missing. Naturally, I refused and found myself in Imperial prison. I was locked away for years, until Empress Asina pardoned me shortly before you retired, the poor minister. Yet still, you remained in hiding. I actually tried to approach you once, when you visited Asina on Drummond Cass. But I lost my nerve. I worried you'd never forgive me. For Dark Barras, for returning to the Empire. The past is behind us. If you'll join me again, I'd be glad to have you. Nothing would bring me more honor, my lord. I've already drafted my resignation from the Sith Empire. I'll fire it off, then acquaint myself with your new colleagues. If you require my services, you need only ask.
I know you two have a lot of history, but he could be our traitor. The question is, do you trust Major Quinn? Quinn and I have endured a great deal together. You've never betrayed me. Not again. In that case, I'll cross him off the list of suspects. I'll promise you right now, whoever this traitor is, we will find them. And we'll make them pay. I know you will. While you start searching, I'm going to win the war they started. For the Eternal Alliance. May the Force serve us all.